This tutorial will demonstrate one way to create a bridge pier section in SP section. This is the final section. It contains seven number eight bars in each corner, nine number eight bars in the top and bottom, and three number 11 bars on either side. The bridge pier section is 120 inches by 60 inches. To begin, get the rectangle tool and click on the workspace to begin drawing a rectangle. Watch the flying text next to the cursor. We want to draw an 80 by 60 inch rectangle. Click to finish drawing. For the next rectangle, turn off the grid, click on the workspace to begin, but this time enter in its dimensions, pressing enter after each. We want 120 inches for the width and 20 inches for the height. Get the select tool and select the rectangle. Snap to the centroid, then click and drag to the centroid of the other rectangle. Click on the workspace to deselect the rectangle and combine the shapes by right clicking and choosing combine. Next, get the circle tool and snap to the inside corner of the shape. Click to begin drawing and click to finish. Get the zoom to window tool and drag a window around the circle to get a better view. Turn the cover on, choose the circular bar pattern tool, change the cover to 2.5 inches, select the clear cover option and the number of bars option, then change the number of bars to 24. Snap to the inside corner, click to begin drawing the reinforcement bars, and click again to finish. Turn the cover off and get the select tool. Then while holding down control, select the bars and delete them by pressing the delete key. Combine our shapes by right clicking and choosing combine. Click zoom to workspace to see our whole shape. Get the circle tool and draw a circle at each remaining corner. Combine our shapes by clicking on combined. Select the bars using the select tool. Right click, choose mirror, snap to the middle of the top and click. Then snap to the middle of the bottom and click to mirror the bars to the other side of the shape. Get the linear bar tool, choose bar spacing option, change bar spacing to 8 inches, and snap to this bar. Click to begin drawing, click to draw, and right click to finish. SP section is showing us that there are overlapping bars by highlighting the bars in red. Confirm this by clicking the validate tool. Warning, section contains overlapping bars, click OK. Get the select tool and while holding down control, select both red bars and delete them by pressing delete. Select the bars using the select tool. Right click, choose mirror, snap to the middle of the side and click. Then snap to the middle of the other side and click to mirror the bars to the other side of the shape. Get the linear bar tool, change the bar size to number 11 and change the number of bars to five. Snap to this bar, click to begin drawing, click to draw, and right click to finish. Using the select tool, hold down control and select the overlapping bars highlighted in red. Then delete them by pressing the delete key. Select the three bars using the select tool. Right click, choose mirror, snap to the middle of the top of the shape and click. Then snap to the middle of the bottom and click to mirror the bars to the other side of the shape. To check the shape size, we can get the measure tool. Snap to the middle of the side, click and snap to the middle of the other side, and click. The width is 120 inches. Snap to the middle of the top, and click. Snap to the middle of the bottom, and click. The height is 60 inches. The option to change bar sizes is available by selecting bars and changing their size in the left panel. To undo this, click Undo. Save and exit to send the changes to SP column. 